you can live with the fact that you've got a bad contract when everything's going great and and if you're not particularly uh, financially minded and I'm not then you're not sitting there constantly thinking oh god I should be getting this much um, compared to because everyone else is getting this much which was basically what it was about I was a uh, obviously a very big seller for Sony in the 80s and I wasn't being paid the amount f for each record that most artists get paid and that was just a matter of it was unfair and it came from an early contract but I lived with that for many years trying to improve the deal but lived with it perfectly um, happily really because as long as the relationship with the company was good and and that uh, the company was promoting my stuff and people were buying it then then I was happy you know it was all everything was fine I wasn't really that bothered about the percentages uh, but when they stop selling you music because or stop uh, actively selling you music because they don't agree with the fact that the direction you're taking then you suddenly realize that actually uh, you don't have any control at all you know, and and that in, at that point you realise that it's your contract that doesn't allow you any control, and that, at that point obviously um, everything changed. But it was a total horrible waste of time. I wouldn't go through it again, um, but I had to be done really.